Fireimpose has a new integration with the Duplo DC618 Sitter Cutter Creaser Finisher. This integration simplifies pre-press to post-press setup for high-value jobs that need customized finishing such as cutting, creasing, and perforations. With the seamless integration, an operator can define a job's layout as well as its finishing requirements all in Fireimpose and then let Fireimpose communicate the finishing instructions directly to the Duplo controller software. As a result, this new capability in Fireimpose will accelerate production turnaround time and also eliminate operator touch points and errors. Let's look at how we can create a job's layout and its finishing requirements in Fireimpose. We first select the job in Fiery Command Workstation's job queue and open this job in Fiery Impose. Under Preferences, I can verify that Duplo DC618 is set up as the preferred finisher, and Fiery Impose is able to communicate directly with the Duplo PC controller through the network using its IP address. To add finisher preset, Click on Create Layout to open the Finisher Preset Wizard. Any finisher presets that you have already created can be accessed in this dropdown, and the preset will be applied directly to the PDF job here. Let's now go through the steps of creating a new finisher preset. We need to specify the job number. This job number is what Duplo PC controller uses to identify this layout, and it can be called up automatically using the barcode printed on the job. We can then set the units for vertical perforation. Next, set the output sheet size. Leave the finisher feed direction to portrait. We have the option to include a barcode on this layout. This 10 cars finish size is pre-populated by Fire Impose using the information from the PDF file. In this example, we are laying out two 10 cards on one sheet. Let's also add a gutter and offset this layout. Notice that this wizard shows the range of acceptable values for each field so that we don't create invalid finishing instructions. And as we define these values, the sheet preview provides the layout update in real time, and the visual feedback can also act as a guide in this setup. Now switch to the next tab to add three creases for this tent card job. Under perforation, we want to add two perforations for the tent card. One important thing to note here is that we are only defining the finishing for one tent card. Fire and Pose will automatically apply the same finishing to the second tent card on this layout. So now we're ready to apply this finishing preset to the job. Before publishing this preset to Duplo PC Controller, I want to finish the imposition with Gang Up Repeat Layout. This will ensure that the correct print image can also be sent to the PC Controller. If you take a look down in the lower right corner, you will see a new information section. This table shows the result of the finisher preset validation. Our preset is good to go since there are no errors. From this point, we can publish the finisher preset with a name defined. Now Fire Impose is sending the preset to the Duplo controller software, and a final validation is run in this transmission. If this is a job we're going to produce again, we can save this layout as a Fiery Impose template and use it with Fiery Automation Workflow, such as Job Flow or Hot Folder, for easy print job submission. Now, let's switch over to the Duplo Controller software. Here we can see that the finisher preset is in the queue, and we can preview the job layout as well as the imposed artwork. This concludes the pre-press setup and post-press setup for our 10 card job. Once this job is printed, we can load the printed sheets in DC618 and let the finisher finish this job using the preset it received from Fire Impose.